Listen. Practice. Speak. Practice makes you perfect. How's everything going with the new product strategy? We're making good progress. The initial concept is solid, and we've done a competitive analysis to position ourselves effectively. We're currently refining the strategy document before presenting it to the senior leadership next week. Sounds promising. Any areas that still need more work? We're fine-tuning the pricing model. We want to ensure it's competitive without undermining our margins. There's also some discussion around how we'll structure the post-launch support packages, but I expect we'll have that nailed down by tomorrow. Pricing can be tricky. Have you factored in potential pricing adjustments based on market reactions? Yes, we've built in some flexibility. We plan to test different price points during the initial rollout and gather feedback from early adopters. This way, we can pivot quickly if needed without making a big public change later on. That's a good approach. It's better to test the waters first rather than commit to a rigid structure. What about resources? Do you have everything you need to execute this plan? We're in good shape for now, but as we move into the development phase, we may need to bring in a few more developers. The current team is working hard, but with the added complexity of this product, additional hands would help speed things up. I see. When would you need those extra resources? Probably in the next two weeks, once we finalize the core features and begin building out the more advanced functionalities. I've already started scouting potential contractors just in case we need to onboard quickly. Good thinking. Let's budget for that now, so we don't run into any delays when the time comes. Speaking of which, how's the timeline looking? We're on, we're on track for now, but that's dependent on getting approvals from senior leadership next week. If they have any major changes, it could push us back a bit, but we've built in some buffer time. Have you prepared a contingency plan in case there are delays? Yes, we've mapped out a few options. If leadership requests changes, we can still launch the core product on time and roll out additional features in phases. That way, we don't sacrifice the initial launch date and we can keep the momentum going. I like that plan. A phased rollout allows us to stay agile. Have you briefed the marketing team on this strategy? Not fully yet. I wanted to wait until we have leadership's approval. However, I did have a preliminary conversation with them to give them a heads up about the potential timeline and key messaging points. Good idea. Once leadership signs off, make sure marketing is aligned with the product's value proposition and launch timeline. What about the client presentation? Are we ready for that? Almost. We're working on the final slides right now. The narrative is centered around how this product will solve some of the pain points they've raised in previous meetings. We've also included a detailed ROI analysis to show how this investment will benefit them over the next 12 months. That sounds solid. Make sure the ROI analysis is crystal clear. Clients will want to see the tangible value before committing. Are there any risks with this presentation? The biggest risk is that the client may want additional customizations, which could stretch the timeline. They've been asking for more personalized solutions recently, so we'll need to set clear boundaries about what we can deliver in the first version and what might need to wait. That makes sense. How are you planning to manage those expectations? We're going, going to propose a staged implementation. The core solution will be ready by the agreed date but we'll offer a roadmap for any custom features they might request. This way, they can see that their needs will be met, just not all at once. Smart. Clients appreciate transparency and realistic timelines. How's the team feeling about the presentation? They're confident. We've had a few practice runs to make sure everyone's comfortable with their sections. I'll do one final rehearsal tomorrow to iron out any last-minute details. Good. It's always better to over-prepare than scramble last-minute.
How's the client relationship in general? Are they fully on board with this direction? Yes, they've been receptive to our ideas. We've had consistent communication over the past few weeks, and they seem excited about the direction we're taking. However, they've been pushing for more data on how this will directly impact their bottom line, which is why we focused heavily on the ROI in the presentation. That's understandable. Data-driven clients want hard numbers. Just make sure you leave room for questions during the presentation so they feel involved in the process. Absolutely. We've set aside a good amount of time for Q&A, and I've encouraged the team to anticipate some tough questions, especially around the budget and timeline. Good thinking. Have you coordinated with the finance team on this? They might be able to provide additional insights if the client dives deep into the financials. Yes, I've already looped in the finance team. They've helped us put together the ROI model and are on standby to support if needed during the Q&A. They've been really helpful in breaking down the numbers in a way that's easy to understand. Perfect. How about post-presentation follow-up? Have you planned next steps? Yes, we've already drafted a follow-up email template that we'll send within 24 hours of the presentation. It will summarize the key points, next steps, and a timeline for moving forward. Forward. We'll also offer a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the client's decision makers to address any remaining concerns. That's great. A quick follow-up helps keep the momentum going. Anything else on your radar at this point? One thing we're considering is setting up a dedicated project manager for this client. Given the complexity of the product and their demands, it might be helpful to have a single point of contact to manage everything. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. A dedicated project manager would ensure smoother communication and quicker decision making. Plus, it shows the client were committed to their success. Agreed. I'll put together a proposal for that and get your feedback on it. Sounds good. Let's make sure the client sees this as an investment in their business, not just a product sale. Keep me updated on the progress, and we'll check in again after the presentation. Will do. Thanks for the support. Hello. Are we all set for the upcoming product launch? Hi. We're in the final stages of preparation. The product is ready and we're putting the finishing touches on the marketing strategy and launch plan. We have a few final tasks to complete, but everything is on track for the launch date. Great to hear. Can you walk me through the final steps we need to complete before the launch? Sure. First, we're finalizing the marketing materials, including social media posts, press releases, and email campaigns. We're also conducting a final round of quality checks on the product to ensure everything is functioning as expected. Additionally, we're preparing for the launch event and coordinating with our partners for distribution. Sounds like a busy schedule. How's the marketing team handling the campaign? The marketing team is working hard on the campaign. They've planned a series of promotional activities, including teaser content leading up to the launch, influencer partnerships, and a product demo, demo event. We're also setting up a landing page with all the information about the product and a call to action for early signups. That's a solid plan. Have you done a market analysis to ensure we're targeting the right audience with these campaigns? Yes, we've conducted a thorough market analysis. We've identified our primary target segments and their key pain points. Our marketing materials are tailored to address these needs and highlight how our product provides a solution. We're also using data-driven insights to optimize our targeting and messaging. Excellent. Data-driven decisions are crucial for effective marketing. How's the team feeling about the launch? The team is excited but also a bit anxious. Launches always come with a lot of pressure, but everyone is confident in the preparation we've done. We've had several strategy meetings to align our efforts and ensure everyone knows their responsibilities. That's good. 
Clear communication and alignment are key. Are there any potential risks or challenges we should be aware of as we approach the launch? One risk is the possibility of technical issues during the launch. We've planned for extensive testing and have a support team ready to handle any problems that arise. Another challenge could be managing customer expectations if there are any unforeseen delays or issues. What's our plan for handling these potential risks? We've put together a risk management plan that includes contingency strategies for technical issues and customer communication. Our technical team is on standby to address any problems quickly. For customer expectations, we're preparing clear and proactive communication to manage any potential delays or issues. That sounds thorough. How are we ensuring a smooth transition from launch to post-launch support? We're setting setting up a dedicated post-launch support team to handle customer inquiries, issues, and feedback. This team will be available 24-7 for the first week after the launch and will continue to provide support based on demand. We're also planning a debrief meeting to review the launch performance and gather feedback for future improvements. Excellent approach. Post-launch support is crucial for maintaining customer satisfaction. How's the sales team preparing for the launch? The sales team is gearing up with training sessions on the new product, including its features, benefits, and key selling points. They're also preparing their sales pitches and outreach strategies. We've provided them with updated materials and resources to help them effectively communicate the product's value to potential customers. Good preparation is essential for the sales team. Are we aligning our sales efforts with the marketing campaign? Yes, we're ensuring alignment between sales and marketing. We've coordinated our messaging and promotional activities to ensure consistency. The sales team is also receiving regular updates on the marketing campaign so they can effectively leverage the same messages in their outreach. What about partnerships and distribution? Are we all set there? Yes. We've confirmed our distribution partners and have finalized the logistics for getting the product to market. We're also working closely with our partners to ensure that they have the necessary materials and information to support the launch. That's great. Strong partnerships and effective distribution are key to a successful launch. Is there anything else we need to address before the launch date? I think we've covered everything major. We'll need to do a final review of all materials and confirm that all teams are ready for the launch. I'll also ensure that we have a detailed checklist to make sure nothing is overlooked. Sounds like a solid plan. Let's make sure we're fully prepared and ready to handle any last-minute issues. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I'll keep you posted on any final developments and let you know if there are any last-minute updates. Looking forward to a successful launch. You're welcome. Let's make sure we're fully prepared and ready to deliver. Good morning. How's the project coming along? Good morning. The project is on track. We've just completed the initial phase, and the design assets are ready. We're aiming for the launch by next Friday. That's good to hear. Any challenges so far? Yes, there were some delays with the client's approval, and content creation took longer than expected, but we're back on schedule now. Have the timelines been updated accordingly? Yes, I've updated the timeline and shared it with the team. I'll send you the revised version by the end of the day. Great. Is there anything you need to ensure we stay on track? We're good for now, but if there are any last-minute changes from the client, we might need additional resources. All right. Let me know if anything comes up. How's the coordination with the sales team going? Everything is aligned. The sales team is holding a strategy meeting tomorrow to sync with the campaign. Perfect. Let's have another check-in on Wednesday to make sure everything's ready for the launch. Sounds good. I'll make sure everything is in order. Great. Keep me posted if anything changes. Will do. 
Thanks for the support. No problem. By the way, have you confirmed the budget for the next phase? Not yet, but I'll be reviewing the estimates later today and will get the final approval from finance by tomorrow. Good. Make sure to flag any potential overages early on, so we can manage expectations with the stakeholders. Absolutely. I'll keep an eye on that and update you if there's any risk of exceeding the budget. Perfect. Anything else on your end? Not at the moment. We're all set for now. All right, sounds like everything is on track. Let's catch up again later in the week. Looking forward to it. Thanks. You're wel- welcome. Good morning. How's the project coming along? Good morning. The project is on track. We've just completed the initial phase, and the design assets are ready. We're aiming for the launch by next Friday. That's good to hear. Any challenges so far? Yes, there were some delays with the client's approval, and content creation took longer than expected, but we've managed to get back on schedule now. Have you updated the timeline to reflect those delays? Yes, I've updated the timeline and shared it with the team. I'll also send you the revised version by the end of the day. Great. Is there anything you need to ensure we stay on track? At the moment, we're good. But if the client requests any last-minute changes, we might need to bring in some additional resources, especially for content revisions. That's understandable. Let's be proactive and communicate with the client early in case they're considering any changes. Do you think we can reach out for a quick alignment? That's a good idea. I'll set up a call with them today to confirm that everything is finalized on their end. Perfect. Also, have you been coordinating with the sales team? They'll need to be prepared as soon as the campaign goes live. Yes, I've already been in touch with them. The sales team is having a strategy meeting tomorrow to make sure they're aligned with the campaign's messaging. I've also sent them the latest creative materials, so they're fully updated. That's great. We don't want any gaps between marketing and sales, especially right before the launch. Do you think the sales team has everything they need from us? As of now, they seem well prepared. I'll check in with them again after their meeting tomorrow, just to make sure they don't need anything else from us. Good. Let's also consider setting up a post-launch debrief with the sales and marketing teams to evaluate the campaign's effectiveness. It'll be important to measure KPIs like lead generation, generation, and conversion rates. Absolutely. A debrief sounds like a great idea. I'll make a note to schedule that for two weeks after the launch, so we have enough data to analyze. Excellent. What's the status of the budget for the next phase? I'm reviewing the latest estimates later today. Once I finalize them, I'll send the numbers over to finance for approval by tomorrow. So far, we're staying within budget, but I'll flag any potential overages if they come up. Great. Keep me in the loop on that, especially if any changes arise. We'll need to manage stakeholder expectations if we foresee going over budget. Will do. I'll make sure to provide a detailed update once I have a clearer picture. Also, do you think we should consider adding extra resources for the final phase of the project, just in case? It might be a good idea. Let's assess the workload after the next check-in. If the team feels stretched, we can look into bringing in some temporary support to help them meet the deadline without sacrificing quality. That makes sense. I'll talk to the team and get their input on whether they feel they'll need more help as we move closer to the deadline. Perfect. Also, have you thought about how we'll handle post-launch support? Sometimes issues come up after the launch that need quick attention. Yes, I've discussed this with the tech team, and they're preparing to provide dedicated support for the first two weeks after the launch. We'll have a small team ready to address any technical issues or client feedback right away. That's reassuring. 
It's always good to have a solid plan in place for post-launch, especially since unexpected issues can arise. Are there any other risks we should be aware of at this point? Nothing, nothing major that I can see. The biggest risk would be if the client requests any significant changes last minute, but we're doing everything we can to prevent that by staying in close communication. Good. Let's make sure we keep that communication tight and preempt any potential issues. How's the team feeling overall? The team's in good spirits. They've been working hard, but morale is high, and everyone's committed to delivering the project on time. We've had a few team check-ins to make sure no one's feeling overwhelmed. That's good to hear. It's important to keep the momentum going, especially as we approach the final stretch. Let me know if anyone needs additional support or if there are any concerns about workload. I'll definitely keep an eye on that. We've been managing the workload well so far, but I'll raise any concerns if they come up. Great. Let's plan for a final check-in on Wednesday to make sure everything is in place before the launch. If anything urgent comes up before then, don't hesitate to reach out. Sounds good. I'll make sure everything is in order and we'll have a smooth launch. Looking forward to it. Thanks for keeping things on track. Thank you. I'll keep you updated with any developments. Good afternoon. How's the development going on the new software update? Good afternoon. The development is moving along. The core functionality is almost complete, and we're starting to integrate the user feedback from the initial testing phase. We're still aiming to deliver the update by the end of the month. That's great. How has the feedback been so far? Overall, the feedback has been positive. Users seem happy with the new features, especially the updated dashboard. However, there are a few requests for additional customization options, which we're currently evaluating. Do you think those customization requests will delay the timeline? Not significantly. The requests are fairly small adjustments, and the team believes they can implement them without affecting the schedule. We're prioritizing the ones that align with the project scope. Good to know. How's the communication with the client? Have they been informed of the progress? Yes, we've been in regular contact with them. I've scheduled a meeting for tomorrow to go over the latest progress and get their input on the feedback we received. I'll make sure to get their approval on the customization options before we proceed. That's smart. Keeping them in the loop early will help avoid any last-minute surprises. Do you anticipate any challenges during that meeting? There's a possibility they might ask for additional features outside the original scope, but we'll need to be firm about what's possible within the current timeline. If they want more extensive changes, we might need to discuss pushing back the release date or increasing the budget. That makes sense. It's important to manage their expectations carefully. Have you prepared any backup plans in case they push for major changes? Yes, I've mapped out a few scenarios. If they request significant additions, we can offer to release the core update first and follow up with a secondary release for the extra features. This way, we don't compromise the original deadline. That sounds like a solid plan. Make sure to emphasize the benefits of releasing the core update on time during the meeting. It's better to get something out there and then build on it rather than delaying everything. Absolutely. I'll make sure we approach it that way. On another note, how are we doing with resources? Does the team have what they need to meet the deadline? For the most part, yes. However, I've noticed the development team is working at full capacity, especially with the customization requests coming in. If we take on any more features, features, we might need to bring in extra help to avoid burnout. Good call. If we do need more hands, let's identify who we can bring in either from other teams or through short-term contracts. We don't want to stretch the current team too thin. Agreed. I'll start looking into potential contractors, 
just in case we need to scale up quickly. It's better to have people on standby than scramble at the last minute. Definitely. How's the morale on the team? I know these tight deadlines can be stressful. The team is doing well overall. There's some pressure, of course, but we've been holding regular check-ins to ensure everyone's managing their workload. We've also implemented a few team-building activities to keep spirits up. That's good to hear. Maintaining a positive team atmosphere is key, especially as we get closer to the deadline. Make sure no one is taking on too much. Burnout can really hurt productivity down the line. I agree. I'm keeping an eye on that and encouraging the team to speak up if they're feeling overwhelmed. So far, everyone seems to be handling things well. Great. And how's testing going? Are we running into any major bugs or performance issues? So far, no major issues. There have been a few minor bugs, but nothing unexpected. The QA team is doing a great job of catching them early. We're planning another round of testing next week after we implement the latest changes. Good. Let's make sure the testing team has enough time to thoroughly go through everything. We don't want to rush that process, especially with user feedback being such an important part of this release. Agreed. I've already blocked out time for them in the schedule to ensure they can test everything without being rushed. Perfect. What's the plan for post-release support? Do we have a team ready to handle any immediate issues that arise after the launch? Yes, yes, we've set up a dedicated post-launch support team. They'll be on standby for two weeks following the release to handle any issues or user concerns that come up. I've also planned for regular check-ins with the client during that period to ensure everything is running smoothly. That's good planning. Having a strong support team in place will make a big difference in how the client perceives the update. Make sure they know we're ready to handle anything that comes up. Will do. I've already briefed the support team on what to expect, so they're fully prepared. Excellent. One last thing, have you given any thought to the marketing strategy for the update? It's important that the messaging is clear and highlights the new features effectively. Yes, I've been in touch with the marketing team. They're drafting a campaign that focuses on the key features of the update, especially the ones users have been asking for. We'll be rolling out some teaser content next week to build excitement before the release. Good. Let's make sure the marketing and product teams are aligned. It's crucial that the messaging reflects the actual benefits of the update, especially after incorporating user feedback. Absolutely. I'll coordinate with marketing to ensure they have the most up-to-date information on the features and timeline. All right, sounds like we're in good shape. Let's have another check-in after your meeting with the client tomorrow. If anything comes up, let me know right away. Will do. Thanks for the guidance. I'll keep you updated on any developments. No problem. Keep up the good work and let's make sure this release is a success. Thanks. We'll make it happen. Good morning. How's everything progressing with the product development? Good morning. Development is moving forward, but we've hit a few bumps. We're currently addressing a performance issue with the new feature that came up during testing. It's slowing things down a bit, but the team is working on a fix. I see. Do you think this will affect the overall timeline? It might push us back a few days, but we're confident we can catch up if we resolve the issue quickly. The engineers are working closely with the QA team to isolate the problem. Good. Keep me informed about any changes to the schedule. Have you communicated this delay to the stakeholders yet? Not yet, but I plan to inform them in our weekly update. I don't want to raise concerns until we have a better understanding of the impact. If we can fix the issue today, it might not even affect the timeline significantly. That's a smart approach. 
just make sure to keep them in the loop if it looks like there will be any noticeable delay. It's always better to manage expectations early. Definitely. I'll let them know once we have a clear resolution. On another note, I've also been working on preparing the product documentation for the new features. That way, we're ready to go once the release happens. That's good foresight. Having the documentation ready early will save us a lot of time when we're preparing for launch. How's the rest of the team handling the workload? Are we on track for the remaining tasks? The team is doing well overall. We're hitting most of our milestones, though some tasks are taking longer than anticipated. We've had to reallocate some resources to prioritize the feature fix, but it shouldn't impact the overall progress too much. Good. It's important to stay flexible, especially when unexpected issues arise. Are there any tasks that we should be watching closely in case they need more attention? The integration with the third-party API is something we need to keep an eye on. It's a bit more complex than we initially thought, and the external team we're working with has been slower than expected in pr providing support. I'm planning to escalate this if we don't see progress by the end of the week. That sounds like a potential bottleneck. If the external team doesn't speed up, do we have a contingency plan? Yes, we've already started exploring alternative options in case we need to go a different route. I've scheduled a call with their technical lead to discuss the delays and set clearer expectations. If they can't meet the deadline, we'll pivot to an in-house solution, but that would require reallocating some resources. Good thinking. Let me know how that conversation goes. If we do need to switch to an in-house solution, we'll need to carefully assess the impact on the timeline and budget. Speaking of which, how are we doing in terms of budget? We're currently within budget, but with the recent issues, we've come close to using up our contingency fund. If the delays continue or we need additional resources for development, we may need to request additional funding. All right, we'll need to flag that in the next financial review. Make sure you have clear justifications ready for any additional budget requests. What about the post-launch support? Have we allocated resources for that? Yes, we've already identified a dedicated post-launch support team. They'll be available for the first month after the release to handle any issues, feedback, or minor updates that arise. I've also coordinated with the customer success team to make sure they're ready to handle incoming queries from clients. That's reassuring. A strong post-launch plan will make a big difference in how the product is received. Do you anticipate any major issues once we go live? We don't foresee any major issues at this point. Most of the feedback from the beta testers has been positive, and any bugs they've reported have been minor and easy to fix. We've incorpor incorporated some of their suggestions already, which should improve the user experience. That's great to hear. Have we communicated those updates back to the testers? Yes, we've kept the testers informed throughout the process. They've appreciated the transparency, and I think it's helped strengthen the relationship with them. We'll also send them a thank you note once the final release goes live. That's a nice touch. It's important to recognize their contributions, especially if we want to rely on them for future feedback. What about marketing? Have they started preparing the campaign for the release? Yes, the marketing team is working on the campaign. They're planning a series of promotional materials, including blog posts, social media teasers, and email blasts. We're aligning with them to make sure the messaging accurately reflects the product's new features and improvements. Excellent. Let's make sure that the marketing materials highlight the key benefits users can expect. Have you aligned the product launch date with their timeline? Yes, we've synced up with their schedule. They've already started drafting the content and plan to begin the promotional push two weeks before the launch. We've also discussed doing a webinar for clients to showcase the new features in more detail. A webinar is a great idea. 
it'll give potential users a chance to see the product in action and ask questions. Who's going to lead that? We're still finalizing the speaker, but I'm thinking of having one of the lead developers present alongside someone from the marketing team. That way, we can address both the technical and business aspects. That's a solid approach. Make sure the presentation is well rehearsed, so everything runs smoothly. Do you have a backup plan in case any unexpected technical issues arise during the webinar? Yes, yes, we've got a backup system in place. We'll also have a technical support person available during the event to resolve any issues in real time. If necessary, we can reschedule, but I'm confident we'll be ready. Good to hear. What's the status of client outreach? Have we started notifying existing clients about the upcoming changes? Yes, we've begun sending out emails to our key clients to inform them about the new features and improvements. We've framed it as a significant upgrade that will enhance their user experience and improve their work workflows. We've also set up early demos for a few high-priority clients. That's a good move. Early demos will give us a chance to gather last-minute feedback and make any necessary adjustments before the broader launch. How's the feedback from those clients so far? So far, the feedback has been very positive. A few clients have asked for more detailed walkthroughs, which we're happy to provide. We're making sure they feel confident about the transition to the new version. Excellent. Keep nurturing those relationships. Strong client feedback will be crucial for the broader market adoption of the product. Anything else we should be addressing at this point? Nothing major at the moment. The team is focused, and we're handling issues as they come up. I'll make sure to keep you updated on the third-party API situation after my call with their team. Sounds good. Let's touch base again later this week to see how everything is progressing. Keep up the good work. Will do. Thanks. I'll keep you posted. Hi, how's the new project shaping up? Hi. The project is progressing well, but we've encountered a few challenges. The development team is dealing with some unexpected integration issues that are causing minor delays. Overall, we're still within the acceptable range, but it's something we need to address. What kind of integration issues are we talking about? We're, integ we're integrating with a new data management system, and there have been some compatibility issues with our existing infrastructure. It's mostly about data synchronization and ensuring the system operates smoothly without performance degradation. How long do you anticipate these issues will take to resolve? We've already started working on a fix, and the initial estimate is that it might take an additional week to get everything working as expected. We're trying to minimize any impact on the overall timeline by dedicating extra resources to this issue. It's good to hear you're addressing it quickly. Have we communicated this to the client yet? Not yet. I'm planning to include this update in our regular status report. I want to provide a clear picture of how we're handling the issue and reassure them that we're taking all necessary steps to stay on track. That's a good approach. Transparency is crucial. Do we have a contingency plan if the integration issues take longer to resolve? Yes, we have a contingency plan in place. If necessary, we can adjust the project scope and prioritize the core functionalities to ensure we meet the deadline. We're also exploring temporary workarounds that can help us move forward while we fix the integration issues. Great. It's important to stay flexible. How's the team morale? Challenges like these can sometimes impact motivation. The team is doing well overall. They're focused on resolving the issues and remain positive. We've been holding regular check-ins to ensure everyone is aligned and to address any concerns. I've also made sure to acknowledge their hard work during this challenging period. That's excellent. Keeping morale high is important, especially when facing setbacks. What about resource allocation? 
Are we adequately staffed to handle these issues? Currently, currently, yes. We've brought in a couple of additional developers to help with the integration issues. However, if the problem persists, we might need to consider bringing in external consultants with specific expertise in the data management system. Let's keep an eye on that. If we need external help, make sure to assess the potential impact on the budget and timeline. Have you considered how this might affect our deliverables? Yes, we've assessed the impact. If the integration issues are resolved within the extra week, we should still be able to deliver the main features on time. However, if there are further delays, we might need to adjust the deliverables for the initial launch and plan for a follow-up release. Good planning. Have we gathered any feedback from the client regarding the current progress? We've received some feedback from the client, mostly positive, but they're eager to see the new features in action. They've also requested a demo of the integration once it's resolved. I've scheduled a demo session for next week to give them a preview. That's a smart move. A demo will help manage their expectations and show them that progress is being made. How are we preparing for the demo? We're putting together a comprehensive demonstration that will highlight the core functionalities and how the integration enhances the overall system. We're also preparing a Q&A session to address any questions or concerns they might have. Excellent. Make sure the demonstration is thorough and highlights how the integration benefits them. What about risk management? Are there any other potential risks we should be aware of? Aside from the integration issues, the other main risk is the potential for additional feature requests from the client. They've mentioned a few ideas during our meetings, and we need to be prepared be prepared to manage those expectations and communicate what can be realistically included in the current scope. That's a valid concern. Have we set clear boundaries regarding feature scope and timelines with the client? We've outlined the scope in our initial agreement, but it might be helpful to reinforce those boundaries during the demo and status updates. We can also offer to include additional features in a future release if they're outside the current scope. That sounds like a good strategy. Keeping the client informed and managing their expectations will help avoid scope creep. How's the project documentation going? Are we keeping everything updated? Yes, we're maintaining detailed documentation of the project's progress, including any issues encountered and how they're being addressed. This helps keep everyone on the same page and provides a reference for any future queries. Great. Detailed documentation is crucial for tracking progress and ensuring accountability. Is there anything else you need from me at this point? Not right now. I'll keep you updated on the integration progress and how the demo goes. If any major issues arise, I'll reach out immediately. For now, we're focused on resolving the current challenges and ensuring we stay on track. Sounds good. Let's keep communication open and address any issues as they come up. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for your support. Hello. Are we ready to kick off the new project? Hi. Yes, we're all set to get started. The project plan has been finalized, and we've scheduled the kickoff meeting for tomorrow morning. We've also prepared all the necessary documentation and briefed the team on their roles and responsibilities. That's great to hear. Can you give me a brief overview of the main objectives and deliverables for this project? Sure. The primary objective is to develop a new customer relationship, relationship management, CRM, system that integrates seamlessly with our existing sales and marketing platforms. The key deliverables include the core CRM system, integration with our current tools, user training materials, and a detailed implementation plan. Sounds like a significant undertaking. How is the team structured for this project? We have a cross-functional team in place. The core team consists of a project manager, two software developers, a UX-UI designer, a QA specialist, and a technical writer. 
Additionally, we have support from the IT department for system integration and a couple of marketing team members for user training and documentation. It's good to have a diverse team. Have you identified any potential risks or challenges that we should be aware of? Yes, there are a few risks we're monitoring. First, there's the potential for delays in integration with our existing systems, which could impact our timeline. Second, we're concerned about the possibility of scope creep if additional features are requested by stakeholders. Finally, there's always the risk of unforeseen technical issues during development. What's the plan for managing these risks? For integration delays, we're building in some buffer time into our project schedule and working closely with the IT department to address any issues promptly. To prevent scope creep, we've defined a clear scope of work and have a change management process in place for handling additional feature requests. As for technical issues, we're following best practices in software development and have scheduled regular testing to identify and resolve problems early. That sounds like a solid approach. How are we engaging with stakeholders throughout the project? We're setting up regular status meetings with key stakeholders to keep them informed of progress and address any concerns. We'll also provide monthly reports detailing the project status, any issues encountered, and upcoming milestones. Milestones. Additionally, we're planning a mid-project review to ensure alignment with stakeholder expectations. Excellent. Regular communication is crucial for managing expectations and maintaining stakeholder buy-in. How's the initial kickoff meeting planned? The kickoff meeting will cover the project scope, objectives, deliverables, timeline, and roles and responsibilities. We'll also review the risk management plan and establish communication protocols. It's an opportunity for everyone to ask questions and ensure that we're all on the same page. Sounds comprehensive. What's the plan for tracking progress and ensuring that we stay on schedule? We're using a project management tool to track tasks, deadlines, and dependencies. Each team member will update their progress regularly, and the project manager will review and adjust the schedule as needed. We'll also have bi-weekly progress meetings to review the status, address any issues, and adjust the plan if necessary. Great. It's important to have a robust system for tracking and managing progress. Are there any initial tasks or milestones we should focus on? Our first milestone is completing the system design and getting approval from stakeholders. This will involve finalizing the design documents, user requirements, and integration plans. We aim to complete this within the first four weeks. After that, We'll move into development and start working on the core features. What's the plan for user training and support once the system is implemented? We're developing user training materials that will include documentation, video tutorials, and live training sessions. We'll also set up a help desk for ongoing support and feedback collection. Our goal is to ensure that users are comfortable with the new system and can utilize it effectively. That's a thorough plan. Have you considered how you'll handle user feedback and any potential issues post-implementation? Yes, yes, we're planning to gather user feedback through surveys and support tickets. We'll address any issues as they arise and prioritize them based on their impact. We're also considering a few follow-up updates based on user feedback to improve the system further. Good. Gathering and acting on feedback is essential for continuous improvement. Is there anything else we need to address before we kick off? I think we've covered the major points. We'll need to make sure that all team members are aware of their roles and responsibilities and that we have all the necessary resources in place. I'll also confirm that the kickoff meeting is scheduled and that all stakeholders are invited. Sounds like a solid plan. Let's ensure that we're fully prepared for the kickoff meeting and that we start the project on a strong note. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I'll keep you informed of our progress and let you know if any issues arise. Looking forward to a successful project. Hi, 
I wanted to check in on our progress with the strategic partnerships. How are things going? Hi. We're making good progress. We've finalized agreements with three of our key strategic partners, and we're in the final stages of negotiations with two more. Each partnership is tailored to enhance our product offering and expand our market reach. That's excellent news. Can you provide a bit more detail on these partnerships and how they'll benefit us? Absolutely. The first partner will help us integrate additional features into our product, which will enhance its functionality and appeal to a broader audience. The second partner is a distribution network network that will provide us with access to new markets and customer segments. The third partner is a marketing firm that will help us with targeted campaigns and increasing our brand visibility. Sounds like a well-rounded strategy. How are we managing these partnerships to ensure they deliver on their promises? We've set up a dedicated team to manage each partnership. This team is responsible for maintaining regular communication, tracking progress, and ensuring that both parties fulfill their obligations. We also have performance metrics in place to evaluate the effectiveness of each partnership and make adjustments as needed. That's a smart approach. How's the product development going in parallel with these partnerships? Product development is progressing well. We're on track with our development milestones, and the integration with our new partners is moving smoothly. Our development team is working closely with each partner to ensure that their contributions are seamlessly incorporated into our product. Great to hear. Are there any specific challenges or risks associated with these partnerships that we should be aware of? One potential challenge is aligning our timelines with our partners' schedules. There's a risk that delays on one side could impact the overall project timeline. We're addressing this by having regular coordination meetings and building buffer time into our schedule to accommodate any unforeseen delays. That makes sense. How are we planning to handle any issues if they arise? We have a risk management plan in place for each partnership. This includes predefined escalation paths for resolving conflicts, clear communication channels, and a process for addressing any performance issues. We're also maintaining flexibility in our timelines to adapt to any changes. What's the status of our stakeholder engagement for this project? We're actively engaging with stakeholders through regular updates and meetings. We've shared progress reports, upcoming milestones, and any changes to the project plan. We're also seeking their feedback to ensure that we're meeting their expectations and addressing any concerns. How are stakeholders responding to our updates and the overall direction of the project? The response has been positive overall. Stakeholders appreciate the transparency and regular communication. They're particularly excited about the new features and market expansion opportunities that our partnerships are bringing. However, we've received some feedback about the need for more detailed timelines, which we're working to provide. It's good to keep them engaged and address their feedback promptly. How are we preparing for the next phase of the project? We're preparing by finalizing the detailed implementation plans for the new features and partnerships. This includes coordinating with our partners to ensure smooth integration and preparing internal teams for the changes. We're also planning a series of training sessions to get everyone up to speed on the new developments. That's a thorough approach. How are we handling the communication and training for internal teams? We've scheduled training sessions with all relevant departments and provided them with detailed documentation on the new features and processes. We're also setting up a central repository for all project-related information to ensure that everyone has access to the latest updates and resources. Excellent! Having well-informed teams is crucial for a smooth transition. Is there anything else we need to consider as we move forward? One thing we're considering is setting up a feedback loop with our partners and internal teams to continuously gather insights and make improvements. This will help us stay agile and responsive to any issues or opportunities that arise. That's a proactive approach. 
ensuring that we have mechanisms for, for ongoing feedback will help us adapt and improve continuously. Anything else on your mind? Just that we're also preparing for a mid-project review meeting to evaluate our progress, discuss any challenges, and adjust our plans if necessary. This will help us ensure that we're on track and making the most of our partnerships. Sounds like we have a solid plan in place. Let's keep up the momentum and stay focused on our goals. Thanks for the detailed update. You're welcome. I'll keep you informed of any further developments and make sure we stay on track. Looking forward to our continued progress. Hello, can we review the current status of the project? Hi. Yes, of course. The project is progressing well overall. We've completed the design phase and are halfway through the development stage. Our current focus is on integrating the new features and ensuring that everything is functioning as intended. That sounds good. Are we still on track with our timeline? We are, but there are a few areas where we're experiencing minor delays. Specifically, the development of some of the custom features is taking longer than expected due to unexpected technical challenges. We're working on solutions and adjusting our timeline accordingly. What kind of technical challenges are we facing? The main challenge is related to integrating third-party APIs with our system. We encountered some compatibility issues that are requiring additional development time to resolve. Our team is actively addressing these issues and testing solutions to ensure everything integrates smoothly. Have these delays impacted our budget in any way? Yes, there's been a slight increase in our budget due to the additional development time and resources needed to address the technical issues. We're monitoring the situation closely and adjusting our budget projections to account for these changes. How are we handling the budget adjustments? We've updated our budget forecasts to reflect the additional costs, costs. We're also exploring ways to offset these expenses by optimizing other areas of the project where possible. I'll provide a detailed budget report during our next review meeting. That's a good approach. What's the feedback from the client regarding the project so far? The client is generally satisfied with the progress but they've raised a few concerns about the delays and how they might affect the project timeline. We've been transparent about the challenges we're facing and have provided them with updated timelines and mitigation plans. How are we addressing the client's concerns? We've scheduled a meeting with the client to discuss their concerns in detail and to provide a revised project plan. We're also offering additional updates and reassurances about how we're managing the delays and working to stay on track. That's important for maintaining client trust. Are there any strategic adjustments we need to consider as a result of the client's feedback? Based on their feedback, we're considering adjusting the scope of the project slightly to focus on the core features first and address additional enhancements in a future phase. This will help us deliver a high-quality product within the revised timeline while managing expectations. How will these adjustments impact our project deliverables and timeline? The adjustments will allow us to prioritize the most critical features and deliver them on the revised schedule. We'll provide the client with a detailed breakdown of what will be delivered in this phase and what will be addressed later. This approach will help us meet their immediate needs while still planning for future enhancements. What about our internal team? How are they coping with the changes and challenges? The team is working hard and remains focused on resolving the technical issues and meeting the revised deadlines. We're providing additional support and resources where needed and ensuring that everyone is clear on their responsibilities and the updated project goals. Have we considered any additional support or resources to help manage the delays? Yes, we're looking into bringing in temporary consultants with expertise in API integration to help speed up the resolution process. We're also evaluating our current workload and adjusting priorities to ensure that we're focusing on the most critical tasks. How's the overall project morale, considering the delays and adjustments? The team is generally positive and motivated, despite the challenges. 
We're holding regular check-ins to address any concerns and provide support. I'm also making sure to acknowledge their hard work and keep everyone informed of our progress and adjustments. That's great to hear. Keeping morale high is crucial during challenging times. Is there anything else we need to address or any additional support required? I think we've covered the major points. We'll need to finalize the revised project plan and update our budget forecasts. I'll also make sure to communicate the new plan and timeline to the client and keep everyone informed of any further developments. Sounds like a solid plan. Let's stay focused and continue to manage the project effectively. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I'll keep you informed of any further progress and let you know if there are any significant changes. Looking forward to resolving these challenges and delivering a successful project.